Hi, Hopefuls. I hope you guys are doing great. I am doing wonderful. So I am getting ready to pack for our trip. We are going to go to the Great Wolf Lodge and Concord, Charlotte. And so yesterday I went to Walmart to get us some new um, beach towels because you see here's an old one and um, we needed some more. So I'm going to do like a haul of, I guess, of what I pick up, what I already have at home, and how we pack. I have been doing research on YouTube, of course, and for tips and tricks. Um, also, I joined, I think, two Facebook groups. I took the Facebook and Instagram app off of my phone, <laughs> just so I won't be on social media as much. So I have to get on the computer and see if I have been accepted to the other group. And there are lots of helpful information in those groups. Also, um, I almost forgot to go on Pinterest in their blog posts as well. So I like to combine all of those um, tips and plus look at videos too that are not necessarily um, Great Wolf Lodge related, you know, like traveling tips and stuff like that. So um, my oldest son, I have three boys. Welcome if you're new to the channel. Um, I have a older son that's almost 23. I have um, an eight-year-old and a 17-year-old. So I've been wanting to take the boys forever, y'all, um, since my 23-year-old or 22-year-old um, was my youngest age or younger, whenever they came, Great Wolf Lodge came in the area. So um, my oldest, he don't even know we're going, but I'm sure he has to work. And um, he probably doesn't want to go without his girlfriend and stuff like that. So it's just going to be my other two boys. And I know my youngest is going to enjoy it. I think my middle son, JJ, um, he is excited. He's not saying it, but I think he's excited. But anyway, let me share. Um, I guess, yeah, again, I'll do this all together. And then uh, maybe a vlog and some other things. Okay, so I have an older towel at Grateful Lodge. They do give you towels, but a lot of people have said they're small and you have to give them back or they will charge you. So we love towels and um, I'm an overpacker too. So um, I got these yesterday at Walmart. These are $5.96. I did see where they had like a bundle, two pack of towels for like $9. So these are the, the dimensions of the towels here. And they also had orange. I didn't get the orange. Um, let's see, that's five towels. And then I got this one for myself. And we do have like two older towels, two more older towels upstairs. Um, this towel here was $5.96 with the sprinkles. Well, this is what it looks like. Then as well, Josiah will bring his hooded towel I saw that was a great tip as well. Um, a parent or a mom said it's best to get those oversized, but I don't want to buy one right now oversized because I don't want to, you know, spend too much money. Um, I got Josiah some swim shoes and I saw these the other day when I was shopping with mama and they also have them like an orange and they're only $5.98. So you can go on Amazon too, but it was cheaper, um, I think, to get them at Walmart. I got um, JJ some, I already have some myself um, from doing water aerobics, so I don't need any. These are $6.98, I probably need to try them on to make sure, but I, I think they're fine. And then these were all in the middle of the aisle, like near electronics in the shoe department at one of my Walmarts, so if you're looking for them. Um, this is a 13-14, this was $6.98 as well. I love when Walmart just makes stuff so affordable um, and the convenience of Amazon. I haven't went to Target for anything. But anyway, JJ and Jason, Josiah has his swim shoes. Um, I got them some goggles. They were already picked over, y'all. Um, these are Sia's. These were like $5 and something. And then these were, I want to say 10 So that's enough for Jason and JJ. I won't put no goggles on. But I don't know, I may, who knows. Um, and then I got Sasa some of these slides. He loves Minecraft, these are $9.96. And um, 
a lot of parents or blog posts said that it was good to have bring slippers, which everybody will. But Saya may have some, but he kicks them off. So um, I thought the slides will work better for him. Um, I may see he does have some flip flops, but again, he's at the age where last year, like he wore Crocs, um, where he won't really, he wasn't really keeping them on his feet. So slipping shoes are better, if that makes sense, y'all. But anyway, this is all for right now. Um, I will probably do a little grocery um, haul and then I do need to go back to Walmart or Dollar Tree for some other things. All right, y'all. So I went in Dollar Tree and I just picked up a few things for our trip. And some things I could have maybe used what I had at home. But anyway, I just went ahead and picked up. And for example, the Colgate toothpaste. I try not to pay for toothpaste because I can get it free couponing. But I saw this smaller... Uh, tube of this Max Fresh. I see that they carry this now. I saw charcoal and I think the blue one and I love the Max Fresh. This is one of the things I try to coupon at Harris Teeter and get. Um, I also got some of these Lifesaver mints. I want to put some of these in my purse and in my car. And yeah. Then I saw these y'all. The Yardley disposable washcloths. And I went ahead and got two packs of those. Those are, I love the Yardley soap and I haven't purchased any in a while, but I just wanted to try these and it'd be great for travel. I got some styrofoam cups, these laundry bags. I know I was watching a couple of people and they said the Papa Pampers, which I'll get from Walmart because it's cheaper than getting it at Dollar Tree. I didn't see any dollar ones today. I saw the $5 ones down that Mighty Dollar aisle. I think that's the name of it. And people can use those for their clothes but the pop-up pamper to put their shoes in so the shoes won't be all over the floor. So I probably will get one of those at Walmart. I think they're priced at $3.96, but I got the mesh laundry bag. I got two of these um, because I don't know how sturdy they are. And I did see in a blog post or a video, I don't remember, where someone had a, a hanging, kind of sort of a long laundry bag made out of this material and the mesh pop-up ones but I did not see that on the website so I had to go in the store and see if they have it um I got some toothbrushes this is something that we probably could have did without but really I wanted the holders um I try to keep up with them and I probably do have them I should have checked before I left but I went ahead and grabbed this you know you get all this for 125 I have two brushes in my stockpile and then I also have two brushes for when we go to the dentist so but I did recently organize under the sink um, some of that dental stuff. So that's why I just went ahead and got it, y'all. Um, I got some plates and I got some bowls. Um, I am going to get the um, breakfast package. And for us, I, I, don't, I don't know how to calculate it, but I think it's per person. I'm not sure. But for two days, it's $119 for the breakfast buffet. Um, so we're going to do that because it's it's just more affordable that way than purchasing things. And I'll probably go more in detail about that in the haul for the food. I got some of these coffee cups. And then in case, you know, we need it. I'm starting to be a coffee drinker now. I did get the little case of water, but I'll get a bigger case at Walmart. And then some mints. And then the boys, I don't know, got a brisk drink and some gummy bears somewhere these are for my car i've been wanting to put some in my purse and so forth so that's it that i got from dollar tree did really well um yeah so i'm gonna go over to the couch and show you what i got from walmart today and they probably it'll probably be some more things that i still have on my list that i didn't get today oh y'all i forgot about these so i did get some sunny d and they had the smaller containers, but I'm glad I looked a little bit harder because they had the 40% more. So this is like the normal size that you would get like in Walmart, which is um, 56 ounces. So I got two of those. One won't be enough because somebody will get a little greedy and drink it. Somebody will drink a whole lot of it. I figured that would be more affordable than getting the individual ones. And sometimes with these shortages shortages and stuff, I can't really find the individual Sunny Ds like I used to all the time. So I just went ahead and got that. Okay, today I got a, 
cover up, y'all. I saw this yesterday and should have got it. I just waited. And I went with this one. This one was $16.98 um, in the women's. And they have this in black. But I was thinking about future trips. Like, even though we'd be indoors, um, you know, outside on the beach or something, black will retract all that heat. They did have some sheer ones, um, some longer sleeve ones that were open in the front. But I went with this one. Again, that was $16.98. I did go back and get them some swim shorts so they'll have at least two so um i got jason these they had these short ones and i figured jj would be fine with these um i love that walmart i think i said that yesterday makes things really affordable um you know if you just short on some coins or whatever but you can upgrade depending on what you're looking for so they do let you know it's above the knee and these were only 6.98 i thought these a little um this is probably fine with JJ. Jason will wear some short shorts, but um, I didn't want, I I just wanted him to be comfortable. <laughs> I know in the past he'll wear some or whatever, but I just want him to be co comfortable. So I did get him these, the George, um, these say above the knee too, but they look like they're longer. And these were eleven ninety eight. dollars um, The difference, they're quick dry. And I guess this means that the sun won't fade it or retract the sun. I'm not sure. I have to Google that. But anyway, and it has stretch. So I got those. And then I got South Side. I saw some cute Fortnite ones on the website and I saw them in the store. They were $11.98. And I said, you know what? I'd rather spend more money and get Jason the more expensive ones. They had some more expensive than that, y'all, in there. It was like different levels of the shorts um, of the quality of, that you wanted. But, you know, Josiah will grow out of that in a little bit. So I got the eight. These were $8.98. I don't know why these were $8.98 and the men's were $6.98. Um, got him these. I was trying to go by his little rash guard. He found the one that he has worn. Um, again, I think this came from Oshkosh Bagash, no Carters. So it did match pretty good. But the Fortnite ones were really cute for $11.98. But I just was like, he gonna outgrow it anyway. Um, Is that it that I got? Oh, okay y'all. So I got me some, got me some, y'all on country. Some um, Nike flip flops. So I have worn these for years and they used to sell them at Shoe Show. And what's the other store that closed? Shoe Show hasn't closed, but Shoe Show, Rat room? No, not rat room. I don't know. Rat room probably did, but I can't think of the shoe department. So the shoe department was in our area and it closed for some reason. But anyway, y'all know that like if you have a shoe show in your area or a store similar to that, they will have like all these Nike slides, the other ones you slide your feet in, up on the wall, like for nineteen ninety eight. Okay, so I just assumed they had them. I haven't been in there for years because I was wearing the Michael Kors ones from Marshalls, but I have not seen those this year. Got the Tommy Hill figure ones and they are so uncomfortable. Um, anyway, now that we're outside, I wanted these again, but these are not good. I repeat, these are not good. If you're going to the beach and your feet are wet and you're rinsing off your feet, you going to the pool or whatever, cause your feet will really slide and it's dangerous. Um, but any other time, if your feet not gonna get wet, they're fine, they're so comfortable. So anyway, I had, my whole point of saying this was, I asked the clerk, um, y'all don't sell those? Cause all I saw was the rainbow. I think it was the rainbow ones. And I didn't see no Nike. And she said that Dick's Nike or Nike is trying to only sell their stuff in Nike online in the store at the outlet. Dick's or athlete's foot, I wanna say y'all. So if you're looking for these shoes or any kind of Nike slides, you don't have to go on the Nike website, which wasn't bad because it was free shipping. Of course, it was $5 more, $24.95 instead of $19.98, $19.98 like it used to be. Um, and that's fine because it was free shipping and they did a two-day shipping because I did this on Sunday and today is Wednesday. So... Anyway, these are bomb. I may order like some that you slip your feet in. I told you, Jay, if he wants some, he got to order them himself. But anyway, um, I will add to this 
um, if I get something else. Hello, hopefuls. Thanks so much for coming back to the channel. Hope you guys are doing great. I'm doing wonderful. So in this video, I'm going to share with you our food that we took on our trip to the Great Wolf Lodge. And I am sharing this snippet of audio mainly because a lot of the food that we took on the trip that we did not um, eat. And I just wanted to make that clear um, because um, sometimes you film something in real life, um, in real time, and it may not have worked out. Um, so some of the things that we took um, with us, like the sandwiches, Jason and I were the main one that ate those. I already knew Josiah was going to be picky with them, and I didn't know that JJ wouldn't. So on this trip, I did um, purchase a little bit too much um, of some things, almost like my oldest son was is going it was a habit and my oldest son was going with us. Um, also, I think that um, for some reason right now, all of our appetites have decreased and I was still in that old mindset of purchasing a lot of foods and snacks. I was also in that old mindset of um, when we went probably on trips before, we may have only had enough money for the trip and not necessarily eat when we get on the trip. It is a great way to save money. Um, but two, I also went back to my old habits of, and I'm an overpacker. So um, over preparing in food, over packing um, with some other things, but but as I grow on this spiritual journey with the Lord, I am really starting to get really clear on some things that may have um, me in a stronghold or things that um, I may used to do. I no longer need to do them or I shouldn't do them or I need to be more aware of them. So some of the food choices that I share with you today, you can like if Swiss rolls or nutty butters or one of your favorite oatmeal pies is one of your favorite snacks, all by means feel free. But I know when I was young in this YouTube um, streets in this world that I was not... Um, I was a little gullible, and sometimes I would purchase exactly what my favorite creator may have purchased or as much as they have. And I just want to be um, the type of creator to be responsible with the platform that I have and let you guys know, you know, because I may have purchased something, you know, um, purchase what's best for you. Don't purchase maybe as much. Or I just wanted to let you know as well, um, you know, that, you know, I may do things that later I find that was not the best choice to do. So I just want to make that clear. Um, enjoy your trip to Great Wolf Lodge. By all means, taking food with you is the best way to save money on any trip. But we left a lot of the food um, at home and... Uh, we still have some of that food left over, and um, JJ has been trying to work out and stuff like that. Y'all know we are a household um, that, well, majority of them like to work out and stuff like that. So they go on their fitness regimen and their fitness journeys and stuff like that, and they will cut back on certain foods, but we also love to eat over here. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. All right, y'all. So up next, um, I know it's a lot of snacks and stuff, but again, we're going on a trip, so we won't have to stop at the gas station to get snacks, and it will be cheaper. Um, so this is what I picked up today. I also uh, doing this in snippets because I want to really think about what I want to get instead of getting everything in one swoop, and then it's like a overly priced 
maybe bought things out of impulse and didn't really think, do I need that or not? But anyway, um, I got Jason his cookies. He'll be off. And I got him those cookies. I'm going to put them up so he won't see them. Um, out of sight, out of mind. I did get the Walmart brand of these. This is the main one of the reasons why I went in Walmart. And I was going to actually go to Dollar Tree because we went yesterday. But the Fresh Lees, I wasn't sure if it was there or not. And JJ said he did see it. Um, but I ended up getting these. They love the Nutty Butters, uh, the Peanut Butter Bars, Honey Buns, and the Swiss Rolls. They were $1.50. And I also wanted to go before the weekend rush. So I noticed like with the Frito-Lay with the chips and stuff, they usually, if you wait to the weekend, it's like limited. Y'all know um, with the shortages and the stuff in the stores, like some stuff you can't find. Like I could not find last week, my Simply Cheetos. Um, you get a lot of these for the WW points. You get like 23 and no 32 pieces y'all. And these are bomb, these are so good. They did not have these. I didn't see them in Food Line when I was doing Instacart. I didn't see them uh, in Walmart. And it seemed like I went in another store. Did not see them. So I went ahead and got them. They were fully stocked. Uh, let's see, I got Honey Buns. These were $1.50, the great value. I didn't even see Little Debbie. That was, you know, I was concerned about that too. Um, they may have had it, but I when I saw these, my eyes just went to that. I did get some Cherry Mixed Fruit. This was $4.95. I didn't see the movie theater popcorn we like act to. Well, really, any movie theater. Extreme popcorn. I got this. This was around $5. So some of this stuff I was going to do delivery. And then I end up just going in the store getting it. And seeing my total on the delivery, I'm like, $77 for what? <laughs> this was other items, y'all. This is like two different shopping walmart trips here okay so i got the freshly just to try these i saw these in the gas station when i got some gas i went in there to get um no actually i saw these to get a coke zero and um they were two for three but in walmart of course because you're buying for convenience um these are 348 or 398 they're really good they're rich you only need like one and i haven't tried these but um jj like these i like them too didn't have no business eating those. And then um, I got the Pringles, this variety. I haven't seen this in a long time. Uh, Jason loves Pringles. And I went ahead and got, they were fully stocked. Um, let's see, this is one of their favorites. Sorry, it's upside down, y'all. Their favorites, but I wanted something different um, for them. So I got, or well, for myself too, I got the salt and vinegar. I love this and Funyuns. Not really the Doritos, the original is fine with me, but something different. And then I needed another Gain Power Blast. Hey y'all, so I saw that Reebok had in the accessory handbag section, several different types of these mini crossbody bags. This is a fanny pack and they also had like a deeper pink one. But when I scanned it in the store, I went to Walmart earlier y'all and then I went with the boys cause JJ wanted to go the cookout so i took him to cookout with his own money <laughs> but anyway i took him to cookout and so i said you know what i'm gonna stop in walmart and get the little debbie snacks and i'm gonna look to see in our closest walmart if they had any of these because they were pricing online when you use the app when you do the uh, price scanner six dollars and fifty cent and not sixteen dollars and so anyway i end up getting this because I was debating, should I get it, should I not? Um, let me see if I can open it. Um, it had really good reviews. And sometimes I feel like I need a fanny pack if I'm doing DoorDash or Instacart. But usually what I do with my keys, I have a holder that holds cards in there. And plus with Instacart, you can use your Apple phone to pay unless you're going in certain stores. But anyway, I wanted something that I can just drop my stuff down in here. Jason loves a fanny pack. What I love about um, Jason is he does not care what people think. I'm, I'm, I am, 
I have adopted that too, but he really don't care. He'll put his fanny pack on for years and he got a new one, um, you know, just to have all his stuff together, um, especially when the boys were little so he can run after them and get them. So I went ahead and got this. Some of the reviews were saying that it didn't matter, you know, what size you were. Um, it was really adjustable. You know, it gave you lots of space. So if you're plus size or whatever, but they have them in pink. I think I saw them in black, blue, and they have some other crossbodies. I think I took pictures. I will put it up on the screen. And then this one didn't, they, I'm glad I waited because they had this in nylon and I like this material here at one Walmart. And then my Walmart that I just went to, they had these. This is also a crossbody bag, but I love the other crossbody bags in the little book bag. I mean, they were all so cute. So let me see if I can open this up. Okay, so this is what it looks like on the inside. And then it has this buckle here. And then um, it has these things that you can put. Okay. And these features of the bag. I like that it was water resistant. They were going to a water park. And then it has like this adjustable um, band. This was $18, y'all. So this was not marked down. Um, usually, no, it was 20 some of them was 18, some were 16, and some were 20. So that's it from Walmart. Oh, I got a case of 40 count water. We won't take all these chips or all the popcorn or all of some things. I'm gonna just take them out and have them to the side and they can take it like for lunch or during the week. So they don't need all of this stuff. Hey guys, so from Amazon, this is what I got. Um, I'm trying to, I think I'm gonna pack downstairs so we have more. I just decided I want to say hey, y'all. <laughs> he said, can I say hey well, next time you uh, turn on the camera? So today came, uh, my swimsuit came today. I'll open that up and show you guys. But I wanted, I was doing a lot of research or research, not a lot. And a blog post I came across where someone was saying that they got a power tower. Now this one is probably over bigger than the one that they got um, because sometimes when they go in the hotel, everyone's fighting over the plugs and they don't have enough. So that does happen to us. And plus Jason will need his laptop to do um, his Toastmasters. So I wanted to, I figured this is something that we can use over and over again every time, you know, we travel over the years. So it has these plugs here. I think it was like $22, $24. And then um, I guess this is the power switches. And they had all white too, but it was a little bit more and I don't think it was gonna get here in time. I don't know what this is, y'all. Maybe it's just the space. And then here are the um, outlets. I don't even know what. USBs. I was going to say USB, but I wasn't sure. And I think you can wrap your cords around somewhere down here. But anyway, I'll make sure I put the link down below to Amazon. Okay. Then I also got SciSci, which I saw when I was doing my car organization, uh, where they had these dinosaur seat belt pillows. So now that he has a bigger, just a booster seat, um, he doesn't have the head support. And so he falls asleep and his head is hanging. He's leaning on the door and I have to tell, wake him up and tell him to get off the door or JJ to pull him off the door. So anyway, y'all, I'll put up a picture of what this looks like, but this looks like this is the insert and this is the cover. Um, I didn't get him the dinosaur one, but this was only like $5.99 or $7.99 and, um, you know, help give him some support when he's sleeping. And then let me open this up. Hey y'all, so I got my swimsuit off of Amazon. I don't know what I was thinking because I was looking on Torrid and Lane Bryant and they really didn't have any choices online. Then I also got that cover up from Walmart and they just had all these bikini, like not bikini, um, the ones with no skirt. I love a swimsuit with a skirt you know, cover up everything, y'all. So, um, I end up going with this one, y'all. Y'all know I love this leopard print lately. And I end up going with this one. I'll flash up a picture so you can see what it looks like. I just hope, a lot of people said, had good reviews. It did support the girls and stuff like that. 
but a lot of times I still have to wear a bra um, underneath and I did order a new bra from Amazon so I don't know y'all I don't I don't know I don't know y'all because it's some weight it's some weight up here so I just it's a two-piece and I don't like how they didn't finish that off though I probably should have got maybe a different color um but anyway so and then it came with the shorts so um I do have one that I got from Avenue. I think I said that. And that one's more like, um, like it has a tummy control and all that stuff. And then I have that older one. Let me show you what else I got from Walmart. And then I may end this video and do a part two. Um, if it's anything else that's coming. Hey y'all, hope you don't mind. I'm just gonna take it straight out of the bag. So earlier I got the tangy fruit smiles or fruit chews. I try not to get these too much because I like them. And one time, um, or I just don't, I like them y'all. And it pulled out a feeling one time. Oh yeah. <laughs> so I try not to get those. But when I saw $3.90 something or $3 or something, I, I got them. Plus other moms said they got them. So I just went ahead and got them. Okay, I got the Goldfish Flavor Blasted Extra Cheddar for Saya. I probably just went ahead and got the big carton. Saya, do you like the Goldfish Pizza or you never tried them? You never tried them? Okay, one more bag. Okay, y'all, so I've been looking for the Tide Pins. I didn't even think to look in the laundry area, which is crazy. I was looking in the travel section by the Health and Beauty. So these were $7.00. Um, I did get some Tide wipes, but I do know the Tide pins work really well. I'm always dropping stuff on myself and, you know, going out of town. You don't take as many clothes with you and stuff like that. And I didn't hear anybody talk about a washing machine and dryer at this uh, facility um, at the Great Wolf Lodge. So I just got that. Um, plus, I like to carry it in my purse. Okay, I also went ahead and got one of these Own Protect waterproof pouches. These are in the electronic section, and they also have some in the handbag section. It is $4.96, I wanna say, at my store. This had good reviews. A lot of people said they tested it first with a piece of tissue, and then they did test it with their phone. I only got two. Um, I don't know, Jason's gonna even bother. JJ may want one, or Jason may want one, so I probably should've got three, but yeah these are in the electronic department so yeah i pull out my app in walmart because you know sometimes stuff is in the wrong place it don't have the right prices and then i know if stuff is on clearance and then also you can click on the item and it'll tell you like where you you know you can punch it into like if you're looking for i don't know boxing gloves i couldn't think of nothing y'all you think of workout weightlifting gloves or something like that you can punch it in and it'll tell you what area it's in Okay, so then as well, um, Josiah, we was looking for some sauce this morning. He needed some more. So these were on clearance for $3.47 or $3.97. Um, I saw that on the app and found these. I wanted to see these in person because for some reason, and a lot of people said that these were size weird or something because I couldn't figure out what size to get them. Okay, I got some anti-wrinkle cream. This is the Equate brand. And I don't know, y'all, I just felt like, um, I feel crazy when I say that, but it's the truth. I felt like the Holy Spirit, like lately, um, I've been trying to read my word a whole, whole lot more and I'll just get like these random thoughts. And I know I've been neglecting like my skin and stuff. So, um, I just feel like all of a sudden moisturize just came to my to my head so I need to really work on moisturizing my skin um so I got this one I scanned it I sat down and read the reviews what people had to say and they said it was really good so this was like seven dollars and something and then I did get some poopery this was like 9.97 um I did go with the citrus scent I also look at how many ratings and what's on the shelf. That's how I kind of indicate what might be good, what might not be good. Um, oh, I won't wanna show y'all this, but I'll go ahead. I got some Nair Bikini Cream, um, hair remover, um, 
y'all no explanation this is only three dollars and some change and this had good reviews too some people said they will never go back to shaving so um my hygiene items uh some things i have tried before uh some things i haven't i have not tried this i don't think in a long time no i don't think i ever tried this or have i, I don't know but i have tried nair a long time ago y'all so some things I have tried, like the popular things that everybody talks about, work best for other people. And I don't like to jump on the bandwagon just because everybody else is saying it. I'll do what's best for me. I think that's what everybody should do, what's best for them. Um, the Nair Body Cream. Um, so this had good reviews too. So I want to try this and it wasn't hardly that many on the shelf. So I was like, okay, that might be a good indication that it's good. This is well. Um, I was reading the reviews. I was going by how many reviews it had, and, and it w this was the last one on the shelf. I was really getting the Bore Charcoal because I had that before, and I used both of them um, all the way down to nothing, which is rare for me. Usually, I'll stop using something, especially if it doesn't do right. Yeah. That's why I had so much stuff. And y'all see, when I organized that bathroom, um, this was something good as well that they said that they used the foaming cleanser. This was, I just went ahead and got it, even though I did pick up the Bore Rose Quartz because this was like $3.06. And then lastly, um, they had their travel section like in the middle of the seasonal aisle and then as well packed in the health and beauty section. So I went ahead, I didn't get a whole bunch of stuff from that area, but I went ahead and got these and I saw they were 97 cents. They ain't had the prices up, y'all. Um, the makeup remover. Just if I wanna put on something, um, which I probably will put on makeup going out of town. Not too much at a water park. But that's it, y'all. I'm gonna end this video so it won't be super long. Normally when we go on a trip, I will make chicken wings. I'm gonna wait and get some sub sandwiches uh, I did see where some people did that. I'm gonna wait and do that closer to the date, even though the date on the sandwiches today had like May 27th, but I don't want to be stuck with it and it goes bad. If that makes sense, y'all. They might put some fresher ones out um, at Walmart. And then also, uh, what else I wanted to tell you guys? Oh, so if you've seen my videos before, before like in the past like when we go out of town i love the fried chicken that's just something that um jason mom used to do she would boil eggs fried chicken i thought that was so neat church a lot of church people do that too y'all know the chicken wings the eight pound bag is 33 dollars 32 dollars i think it's 33 dollars um i looked at them today they look like they've been sitting there y'all because people ain't buying them but if you think about it i know my crew when we go even to mcdonald's well that might be including with my oldest son it is about $30, 30 some dollars, y'all, for all them to eat because they greedy. So, I don't know if I'm going to mess with that. We might just do the sub sandwiches and that's it. Now, the Great Wolf Lodge, they do not have, I might do a blog post on tips and stuff. They do not have their refrigerators. They have refrigerators, but they do not have the freezer portion because I was wondering why a lot of people were not buying like sausage biscuits or frozen sausage biscuits or like maybe the frozen burgers or stuff like that or the burrito sandwiches you know what i'm saying i put waffles or pancakes i was like why didn't i buy it because there's no freezer to hold it in so also i'm gonna wait to get some fresh fruit at the last minute because i just went and got some produce and that stuff went bad so fast because it wasn't looking right and it was on the weekend but anyway i'm gonna let y'all go I know it was a lot of talking, but I hope you enjoy this. Um, I'll do a continuation of the next foods, uh, whatever else, in another video. All right, bye, y'all. Hi, hopefuls. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are doing great. And I'm going to probably add this to another haul, I think. Um, but this is our um, travel or Great Wolf Lodge travel haul. And I'm sure there's some other things that I hauled before, but it's from Walmart. I took advantage of some extra care books that were going to expire at CVS and um, Harris Teeter, because Harris Teeter has some good deals. So this is Walmart over here. And um, 
I got some more of the Coca-Cola minis. I had a few more, but I went ahead and got some while I was in there. I got some sub sandwiches and I went ahead and took advantage of their mustard and the mayo and I asked her for a little baggie so they won't be thinking I'm trying to take anything at Walmart. Then, um, y'all, them self checkouts. Y'all, they ain't hardly have any registers open anymore for the pack. Y'all know they just don't anymore. And it's just like, you go in there with a bunch of stuff and you just like, oh. <laughs> I try to go to the long ones, but uh, sometimes they be staring so hard that I just ra rather go to the short ones. But I don't know y'all, but I tell you, you go in there and you work. You be working like, where's my, um? is it, a, is it W2? Where's my W2? Anyway, y'all. Okay, so I got some grapes. I'm going to clean these off and put them in a container. And then I got some Bolt House Farm Deli Greens and Berry Boost. I need to put this stuff in the fridge. Then I was watching um, a YouTuber only in the search. Only two or three food videos came up for me. And I loved her. She didn't, she briefly, I think she just briefly talked about the sandwiches but I saw it in some of the things she hauled and I was like, oh, that's a great idea. So, hey, y'all left the um, cooler outside. Um, I got the Italian Hero Sub. I got two of these and these are $6. I remember mean, they were five. So I did go the other day and they were fully stocked, y'all. They have dates on them. And I asked, I didn't want to get them right then, even though it was the end of May on the dates. I think it was like the 26th, 28th. And I was like, I asked her, do they restart every day or will they have more? Anyway, I didn't want to take a sub home for a couple of days and then it go bad. So I said, I'll just come back. So I digged all the way in the back and towards the back, they had some with um, dates further away. So the Italian is always my favorite regardless of where I go. Um, so this will probably be like some lunches. So I'm thinking we'll eat, we will have breakfast we're gonna go to the breakfast buffet and hopefully it's good so that's why we have extra stuff just in case if it's not um and then it looked pretty good it was a lot of mixed reviews about the um other type of food in the like dining food dinner so we're gonna pass on that we probably go out for dinner and for lunch we'll eat um at the hotel even though the fun part, y'all, is eating eating <laughs> on vacation, I know. Um, yeah, so just to save a little bit more. So this is the All-American Sub. I think I got two of these. I think I did say they were $6. They used to be cheaper, y'all. The New York Deli, this must be good, or somebody at Walmart likes it. This is the only one. Um, let's see. That's another Italian um, All-American Sub. And then I got one Super Supreme super sub and this was 650 let me go back over here because i think i missed some stuff i got some sweet and salty cashews this is for lunches too not necessarily for that and um again all that other stuff that i haul before those sweets and stuff like that we're not taking all that okay so then i got one of these snack pack veggie and dip uh for myself and i only got one i think it was like 147 and um, it was just more convenient to just do this instead of chopping it up myself, which I have done um, before. I think I took pictures. I didn't, I did not ever do that video. Um, Cause normally when we go to the beach or we go on a trip, what we do is we fry chicken, the chicken wingettes, and we have boiled eggs. And then I'll make like little sandwiches and stuff. Well, I'm not doing all that prepping, even though the chicken wings, I was gonna bake them. And we'll do that next time. I got Sasa some Lunchables. I probably will only take one, but he doesn't really care for these sandwiches like this. So, well, it depends. Okay, I got some Fruity Pebbles. These were a dollar and the Cinnamon Toast Crunch. And I did get some Cheerios, but the razor blade um, tore the packaging to top of it. So I put it back. I got some of these Fudge Dip Coconut um, Granola Bars. And if the sound and the lighting looks different, y'all, I had to change to my camera. So I also got some Honey Smacks. Jason likes these. And then I got three of the Pet 2% milk. And they did not have half a gallon of milk in 2%. So I went ahead and got these. They were 
20 something or 30 something wasn't too bad and they're already in a smaller container um let's see i got two four of these burgers i don't know if i should have got these or not y'all but these don't have to stay in the freezer like the ones at sam's and i haven't tried these before these are three dollars they do have like a double but i didn't get that and um i know saya likes these little burgers i got some gatorade and then i got some mandarin oranges and some apple slices and then this turkey tray i did see where the other um youtuber where she went to great wolf live she got one of these and i was like oh that's a great idea like a lunchable an adult lunchable even though you can make your own but i don't have time for that right now and so then i got the smoked turkey and then they also had pepperoni but they were out of that and these were 747 kind of pricey but um sometimes you just won't i know at night sometimes or yeah i want a late snack and so i love to have like cracker well not crackers but like some cheese the um little pieces of meat or like deli ham because it's usually it's lean deli ham and then i like to have like some um carrots or some tomatoes sometimes a boiled egg um because that's very filling and some grapes okay guys so over here i went to harris teeter and i took advantage of their evix of the week and the boys left some drinks somewhere because i got four so i need to check the car and see what else they left um i know they left the cooler too from walmart and um i guess i'll go out there and go get it okay so i didn't do all of the evix at harris teeter just some of them and they also gave me like a five dollars off if i spend 30 um thursday or friday through sunday so i want to go ahead and wanted to go ahead and take advantage of that so the pepsi products were three a limit of four 347 so i was in the store like uh googling is aw part of pepsi and i kind of knew but i didn't want to guess um i automatically picked up sun kiss and some kids it said that they used to be or something like that but i didn't want a chance that y'all get to the register and it didn't ring up at 347. um also they had a limit of four for the duncan coffee and you could have got k-cups or the um grounded coffee and i got this grounded because um i can use the coffee maker i have been drinking a little bit more coffee now and um i wanted to try this i it I only got, I think it was like three, no, it was $4.97, so it was a good price. I should have got one more K-Cup of the Dunkin', but I couldn't reach it, y'all. There's always my dilemma, and it wasn't a man or someone tall around. Um, the fresh, French vanilla and the K-Cups, I wanted to try it. Anyway, also, I wanted to take advantage of the King Goods. I have not been restocking our working pantry like I supposed or should and um so I, it was a limit of 10 and these were 47 cents each i got the chili beans some pintos um one of the cuban style black beans one black eye pea let's see and then ouch uh the light red kidney beans the seasoned black beans and another light i got more light kidney beans chili beans um and the pinto beans and what's this one another season black beans i love beans everybody else don't care for beans but if push come to shove and they had to eat beans they're gonna eat beans but i love beans also it was a limit of four for the goldfish of 197 but i only got two um i got the flavor pizza blast and the extra cheddar Josiah loves those so at CVS, I had to use my, I think $16.16 of extra care bucks. And that just reminded me, I got to use my Lane Bryant rewards. Cause y'all know when y'all go out of town or you're busy doing something, you forget to use your stuff and it expires. Um, so I didn't want my care pass to expire and I haven't been going couponing. Um, like I said, I was going to start, um, doing every single week. So with that $16, I got some water, this water, everything was overpriced y'all. Cause I just kept going down the aisle over and over and over. The water was $5 and I seen this water for 
$1.99 or $3 um, before when I catch it with a sale. So they did have some coupons. It was like buy three, no buy $12, get $3 off. And then it was a couple of coupons on the trail mix as well. So I'm glad I scanned and used the app and scanned my stuff because I had no idea. I was just going to just use my extra care books. So I only had to pay out of pocket 16 cents y'all, but I went ahead and rounded to a dollar to donate because I felt compelled to donate um, my 84 cents. Um, I think it was the women's health or something like that. So I got four y'all. This was separate. This was $4.59. Y'all know CVS high. Um, for this, even though these are bigger than the other ones from Walmart. Um, two of those, and then I got the trail mix. So I thought that would be more bang for my buck, because y'all know trail mix is high everywhere. So this was like $7, and then I had a coupon, I can't remember what, um, for it. So I was like, this is perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. You can't beat that. 16 though I didn't get no extra care books back. Ooh, that was a little sad, but 16 cents out of pocket, you can't beat that. That's it, y'all. Um, no, it ain't. Let me go get the cooler, and then I got two nightgowns to show y'all. Hold on. Okay, y'all, I know it's like the worst angle ever, but Walmart had these. I saw them in the other Walmart, and then I saw them in my um, Walmart closest to me. Uh, nightgowns, they're long, they're soft, and they're marked down on clearance for their secret treasures. I'm going to have to put up a picture uh, for $7. So, I pulled out that app, and I started scanning. As well as this one that is gray. So I'll make sure I put up a picture so you can kind of see what it looks like. And it's long. Not super long, y'all. I don't sleep in my long ones. I sleep in the ones that come above my knee. And the longer ones, I like to have those like when it's cold or chilly in the house. Or if I'm going to be walking around, you know, like going to a hotel or something like that. You know, walking around. Or you, you don't went to somebody's house. You spend the night like your auntie or somebody. Okay, y'all. So I got this. Um, I was looking for a cooler. And Jason actually has a lunch bag almost like this. But he took the insert out. Um, or maybe he never had the insert. I don't know. But um, I wanted one that was soft. But it had this interior, this hard piece inside. And this was $16. Walmart didn't have a whole lot to choose from, y'all. It said they had, this is the 24 can. And they said they had the 36, but I did not see that in the store. And I looked in both sections, the camping section and the um, seasonal section in the front. So it has this pocket in the front. And I, yeah, I preferred that one. And this section up here. And put something cold. I hope I got enough cold packs. And then I got this soda. Hold on, y'all. Okay, y'all. So lastly, from my Amazon haul, my stuff came today. It was a couple other things, y'all. I should have gotten, but it's too late to get it now. Like a band for my GoPro. If someone wanted to go down the water slide, because um, I don't have one of those. And a luggage set for JJ and for Saya. I did not think about that. Didn't think about that. Um, just JJ has one, but it's like, oh, y'all. So I did get a bra. Um, I ordered my bras. I think I, I said in my closet video, probably some other times, that I have to get my bras from a specialty store. Well, uh, I can't go in Walmart and all the other stores, even Lane Bryant or Ashley Stewart, wherever, plus I store and get my bras. So I go to the Bra Patch in Raleigh. They size you. They fit you. When I go up and down in my weight, um, they are bomb. They'll always size me. They always stick me <laughs> in the Alea bra. Um, I'm sure if I go down some cup sizes and cup sizes and even the width, they will... Um, well, usually the width is not the problem. It's the cup size. They, um, but anyway, I found them now because during the pandemic, you know, we weren't going out the house. They were closed and stuff. And I went on Amazon. They had it. So it's called the Alea Bra, y'all. I usually get black, but they have all different colors. It's best if you sew the straps on. You can kind of see. I don't order the ones. I think they stopped making the ones with the metal clasp and stuff. The hooks and stuff like that. Um, I don't like those. But anyway. Oh, yeah. They got a little tag. It's called the Alea. I will put it down below. Y'all, please don't be buying out my bra. 
<laughs> Don't stop buying out my bra. Don't buy my bra, y'all. Okay, so then they lift your girl up. Um, I did get a wig, and this is like a wet and wavy wig. I was thinking about doing a short wig, but I'll end up doing that just in case if I wanted to just not get in the water, put my hair up, or just get in certain parts of the water and not get like saturated. But right now, I feel like I'm going to get saturated with water because that's what I feel like doing. So I will put a picture up of what this wig looks like. I may take it out too. And then it came with uh, the, I'm glad it came with these because they said it was going to be random headbands even though i have headbands but i'm glad it came with this y'all know and then it came with this wig cap as well so it came really quickly it was only 16 dollars if i'm not mistaken let me open it okay y'all um i don't think it gave me the option oh it's black black i thought it was at least 1b let me see no it looks like it's black black i thought i ordered 1b I don't even know if it gave me the option, but it already comes with a black headband and yeah. So, and I didn't get the longest length. I think I got the 16. I think it was a 22 inch, but anyway, I may decide to wear, I may not. So I'm going to wrap this right back up so it won't get all um, mangled up. But y'all, I hope you enjoyed this haul. Um, a lot of the things that we got will last us if we go on other trips. Uh, of course not the food um because i've two jason pulled out a lot of um i didn't realize he had some shorts some other shorts that i found for him so i was like oh you got plenty of swim shorts but yeah what well, lasts is for other hauls so even though it was kind of pricey i was trying to do it frugal um it'll last us but anyway Thanks so much for watching. If you guys have any tips or ideas or what you do on your vacation or vacation halls, please let me know. Or if you went to the Great Wolf Lodge or what are you doing this summer? I would love to get ideas to take my other family members and just have fun um, this summer or whenever. Thanks for watching, y'all. Bye. What we do here is go back, 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 back. back.